Hi guys, I hope you're well. Welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be talking all about weaning, how we got started, how it's going, and I'm also gonna share some of my top weaning essentials. If you're new here, my name is Barbie and I'm mum to a six month old little boy called Kian who has just started eating solids. I'd love you to subscribe down below and join me. And also make sure you like this video because it really helps out my channel. So if you're thinking about starting your baby on solids, it's recommended to start around the six month mark. Obviously all babies are different and some will start as early as four months. So we started weaning Kian a couple of weeks before he turned six months. Obviously we felt that he was ready and you will know your baby best, but there are a few really important signs you should look out for before you start weaning. So firstly, you want to make sure that your baby can sit upright unaided in their high chair or on your lap so that they're not slumping down and falling over. Once they can sit up properly in their high chair, that's a really good sign that they're ready to start weaning. It's really important that your baby has good head and neck control, especially if they're gonna be sitting up in their high chair for quite a while. It's also really important for your baby to be able to pick things up and bring it to their mouth. Kian was teething, so was very good at this everything was going into his mouth that's obviously really important for baby led weaning so that they can pick up the food and feed themselves and lastly I think it's just important for your baby to be showing an interest in food it had got to the point with Kian where we just couldn't eat in front of him he wanted to grab it out of our hands or he would just stare at us and make us feel really guilty about eating in front of him so we thought it was time that we should probably start weaning him so there's two different ways that you can wean your baby there's spoon fed and baby led and I think people get quite heated about which one they choose choose we've decided to do a mix of both so we do spoon feed Kian with purees but we will also offer him foods in front of him so he can pick them up himself and feed himself some people passionately believe that baby led weaning is the way to go it helps the child become more independent and, and makes them more familiar with the actual food and some people much prefer spoon feeding it's much more convenient much quicker and cleaner so I'm quite happy doing a mix of both but you can obviously make that decision yourself so there has been points during during our weaning journey where I have found things really overwhelming I wasn't sure if I was doing the right thing or the wrong thing but one thing I think it's really important to keep in mind is that everybody eats food differently there's no right way to eat there's no wrong way to eat and every household will eat different types of food so try not to get too stressed out about the process it's supposed to be fun and enjoyable up until your child is one years old their main nutrition will come from their breast milk or formula so you really don't need to worry too much about how much they're actually consuming the next few months of weaning are really just to get your child familiar with different tastes and smells and textures so please do keep that in mind when you're weaning there's no need to get stressed out it's all fun and games <laughs> so we decided to start weaning Kian with purees for the first two weeks we just gave him bitter vegetables so these are things like spinach courgette um, aubergine we gave him Bro brussels sprouts cauliflower um, potato all those types of savory bitter vegetables we fed him once a day for us it worked quite well to do it in the middle of the day just after he'd had a bottle we'd wait maybe half an hour to an hour and then sit him down in his high chair to feed him obviously you need to work out a time which works best for your baby and your schedule so we did the two weeks of bitter vegetables every day this is a method which one of my friends told me about and it is also the method which is explained in the Joe Wicks Wean and 15 book they basically say that if you expose your baby to these bitter vegetables first they won't acquire a sweet tooth so early and they'll be more likely to accept these vegetables as they get older now I don't know if it's true but I thought it would be worth a try because I think it's really important for kids to eat their vegetables of course so I was actually really looking forward to seeing Kian have all these different reactions to vegetables, but really he was just happy to eat anything. He's just such an easygoing baby. He gobbled up everything, which I'm so, so happy about. I know it can be really tough if your baby refuses food, but if your baby does do that, don't be disheartened. They say that it can take up to 10 times of the baby being exposed to that certain food before they acquire a taste to it. So just keep on trying with the same vegetable and hopefully they will come around eventually. So I found the purees really easy to make at home. It's so simple, you just need to boil or steam the vegetable, and then I used to blitz it up with a hand blender and add a little bit of formula. They say that the right consistency should be quite runny, like single cream or double cream. Um, yeah, it shouldn't really be chunky in those early stages. I also had loads of syringes of colostrum left over from when Kian was born, so I would just defrost one and put it into each of his purees every day, and it's a great way to use up any 
breast milk you might have in the freezer or colostrum. If you're doing baby led weaning, you can do the same thing, single vegetables every day for two weeks, but you just need to cut them up into handheld sized pieces and make sure that they are mushy because you don't want your baby choking on large bits. I actually decided not to start with baby led weaning just because I was so scared of Kian choking, but babies are actually really good at bringing up food themselves. If it goes too far back in their throat, they will kind of gag it up. I definitely recommend watching some first aid videos on choking so that you know what to do if your baby is choking and also some videos which show you the difference between gagging and choking. Gagging is a lot more like coughing and spluttery whereas I think choking they just go silent and they'll look very panicked and you can tell that they're not breathing. So definitely go and watch some of those videos just to put your mind at ease a little bit so that you can recognize the signs of a choking baby. So because of that we decided to start with the purees. We just weren't comfortable to go baby led at that point. So yeah, at two weeks we started combining different flavors, different foods. This is where I've started adding herbs and spices, maybe a little bit of turmeric or a little bit of basil or garlic to his purees and he seems to be really enjoying it. When I'm making Kian's food, I do try and give it a little bit of flavor just because we wouldn't want to eat bland food every single day. And obviously I'm Indian, so we eat a lot of onion-based dishes, a lot of tomato-based dishes, and I want him to get used to those flavors as a baby so that it won't be such a shock when I start feeding him curry when he gets older. <laughs> and then depending on how your baby takes to food, you can add in different meals. So we very quickly went from one meal to three meals a day. I just found that it worked really well for our routine. Kian is just really happy to eat when whenever we give him food, but it might take until eight or nine months for your baby to be comfortable to have breakfast, lunch, and dinner. So at the end of the day, there are so many books and blogs and so many different bits of advice out there, but you are gonna know your baby best and you just need to kind of play it by ear and see how they feel. I honestly think the best way to approach weaning is to just go with your baby and see what they wanna do. If you offer them breakfast one day, but they're not interested, maybe wait a few days and the next time they might really enjoy it. So now after almost a month of weaning, Kian is happily eating three meals a day of combined food. He's not so fussed about flavors, but he is very fussy when it comes to texture. He still likes his food to be quite pureed. If it's lumpy, he'll spit it out or he'll lose interest after a while. So at the moment, I'm still giving him quite pureed food. But I have introduced some food to him as whole foods. We've tried a bit of baby led weaning. I will give him cucumbers quite regularly. He also has tried bananas. He's tried sweet potato. But the thing is with baby led weaning, he'll be very frustrated if he drops his food or if it mushes in his hands. So that's a challenge that we're having at the moment. Um, but I will keep offering it to him even if he does get angry. When it comes to actually cooking your baby's food, it's not as difficult as you might think. Obviously, there is a long list of things that you you shouldn't yet introduce to your baby for example salt sugar raw fish uncooked eggs whole nuts um what else you can't give them honey but i'll leave a link below to the full list of foods that you cannot give your baby so now that kian's a bit bigger i will just take a few of whatever veg we're eating that night and i will cook it for him if i'm making like pasta for example I'll just take a bit out for him before I add in any salt or chili. So that works really well for me. I can usually figure out some sort of combination that we have in the fridge, like some go-to ones are potato and carrot, or leek and potato, or yesterday he had tomatoes and peppers sauteed with a bit of basil in it and I will just mash it up with a hand blender and then any leftovers I have I will freeze them. So yeah if you want me to make a video of what Kian eats in a day or what Kian eats in a week or some recipe ideas let me know down below and I'll happily make that video for you. I do really enjoy coming up with different combinations and um, there are a couple of books I did buy. I bought the Joe Wick's Ween and 15 book and also What Mummy Makes but to be completely honest I've just been kind of winging it myself I haven't really used the books that much so maybe I will report back in a couple of months and let you know if I have used the books and have found them helpful so yeah that's kind of how our weaning journey is going so far I think I've actually made this video quite long so I'm going to make a separate video talking about all of my weaning essentials bits and bobs which have just made things so much easier it can be quite daunting trying to pick the right things and the right products there's so much stuff out there so I'll be bringing 
bringing you that video very soon. But if you're starting weaning, make sure you enjoy it. Try not to stress out. Go at your baby's pace. Just enjoy yourself. But obviously, it's always important to keep an eye out for advice. And there's so many good resources out there. The NHS website is brilliant. If you're on Instagram, there is an endless amount of weaning recipes and ideas. There are some really brilliant pages like the Wean in 15 page. And also, there is a nutritionist called Charlotte Sterling Reed. I think her name is SR Nutrition on Instagram. And she has a fantastic blog, which I'll leave down below. Also, another thing that I want to say is that you don't have to listen to every piece of advice given to you. When I was a kid, weaning was done very differently. And you're always going to get different opinions of what you should and shouldn't feed your baby. Obviously, times change, things change. So, yeah, you don't always have to listen to what other people are telling you to feed your baby. And I think that that is something which will go on throughout their whole childhood. People having opinion on what you feed your baby. But like I said, every household eats different food and you know, it's not that deep. <laughs> Anywho, I have gone on far too long. I hope you enjoyed this video. Keep an eye out for my weaning essentials video and I will see you next time. Bye.